Hey, what's up guys? Dan Clemente. It is a rainy, rainy Sunday morning here in central Pennsylvania. But uh, we got a package this week from Kent CNC. And we are going to unbox this thing here. This is their uh, DeWalt 611 dust shoe. Um, those of you that know me, I have had several different dust shoes. And I've had the Suck It. Uh, I've had a different, couple different brands. But this Kent CNC one uh, definitely looked very very promising so I figured let's see what we got here so we reached out we got one of these and uh, let's see how it comes in the unboxing so it comes with it's plastic I'm only kidding okay it comes with a a dust ring with very ooh, very very soft bristles I like that many of the dust shoes that I've had always have like real hard bristles these are really super soft I really like that and these I believe are two inch brushes and then it also comes with this piece. Very simple dust shoe. Two parts, nothing really to mount. That's what caught my eye about this. A very, very simple, easy process. And that's it. So it has the dust shoe with the hose for the two and a half inch adapter. And then these here have magnets. I'm gonna come closer to the camera to show you this. And uh, it looks like there just magnetizes and then there's a hole here for the router to go, and it has a a lock like a lock screw. Um, I know they say on the website, do not tighten that overly tighten, so you don't want to ruin it. But that's it. It's very compact. I mean, this is like really really nice. You can see the quality. Look at the thickness of the um, the actual top part of the shoe itself, and then there's also the same thing here. This is a lot of thickness here, and then it's got three neo magnets, and they just boom sit together so what we're gonna do is we're gonna hook this up to the machine we're gonna give it a try and see how it sucks that sounds terrible but no i think this is gonna work great i can already see this is gonna be a great addition to the new cnc for newbie machine so we're gonna try this out hook it up and uh, see what we got be back in a few minutes all right we are back at the machine and here is the kent cnc dust boot like i said it separates i think that is so cool all right so looks like uh this will be obviously where the Two and a half inch goes in. That's really nice and tight, nice and snug. I like that. All right, so it looks like this piece goes up onto the router. I think we got to loosen it a little bit. It does not come with a key for this. I already had it out before the video started. So you got to get an Allen key, or I have a little screwdriver that already has that size in there, and open that up a little bit. And kind of just fit it up in there. Nice and snug, I love it. Put that there, and just give it a little, just a snug fit. Look at that, that's not, that is not moving at all. And then I would assume you put your uh, access to the button right there for the for your bit, for the DeWalt 611. And I you put your bit on, well you can put a bit on just for purposes of, of demonstration. We'll get out one of my quarter inch bits. Tighten it down. You have full access to it. And then take this right underneath, snap it in place. And then you would bring over your, just like that. That's it, that is amazing. That is so easy uh, compared to other shoes that I've had. Oh, this is amazing. This is so simplistic. Uh, other ones that I've owned, you've had a mount, like brackets to the X gantry. This is just, boom, It's and it's form fit. This is perfect. Uh, this is excellent. This is absolutely phenomenal. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to get a carve put on here, and we are going to see how well the brushes hold all the dust and go from there. Can't wait to uh, show you. Be back in a few. All right, so we are back. We are about to carve a small little plaque. We just zeroed the material. Everything is ready to go. We're gonna get this machine here. We're gonna get the, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna raise up the axis, the Z axis. And we are gonna place the dust, the bottom part of the dust boot, which is the magnetic part. We're gonna place that on with the magnets. We are gonna lower it real quick, back to zero. And what you want, and when you do this dust collection, 
I have mine all the way up. Now, if you have a longer bit, you want to adjust this accordingly, but you want the brushes over the material, okay? Um, it would be better if it was a little bit higher, but I'm using a V-bit. That's a little short V-bit, so I'm okay with this. It's not going to be a big deal. We're going to make sure it's tightened. It's not moving, and we're going to begin our carve. So let's hope everything works. I'll be back in a minute. Back now, it's not completed yet. Uh, I still have another tool pad to clear all this uh, other stuff out. Uh, this is a wedding plaque for my uh, wife, a wedding anniversary plaque for my wife and I. So basically, um, you can see this is just off the carve, nothing here. There is no dust, or very little, if anything. This thing works absolutely brilliantly. I absolutely love it. So as you can see, there's, I mean, there's some, you know, some fuzzies, but not like the mess you would have if you didn't have a dust boot. This, if we'd have a dust boot right now, this would be, there'd be dust everywhere, all over my floor, all over the table. I'd be coming back, cleaning behind the router. Uh, this thing is fantastic. So what we'll do is we'll, um, we'll cut this video, we'll finish this carve up, and we'll do a full, what I think would be review of it when we're done. All right, see you later. All right, we're gonna do a quick bit change. This is a two-step carve with two separate bits. So I'm gonna show you how easy it is to change the bit out with using this shoe. So we're gonna bring the router up a little bit. Bring it up about, about three inches or so. All I do is remove the ring. Put it aside real easy. Grab onto my collet here. I'm gonna change this bit over to a, a 1 8 inch end mill. And I need to also change over my um, Call it as well for this bit change. I guess my one eighth bit that I ordered from Amazon never showed up yesterday. But my normal size, uh, so we got to change it out and put a smaller collet on there. It'll take two seconds here. I just want to show how easy this is, though. It's very, very simple, uh, very easy. The, the dust shoe sits out of the way. Bring it into zero real quick. Probe it. it up one more time just give me a little bit more clearance to put the shoe back on we got an easy three magnets slips right on i will return to zero and this is at the same height i haven't changed it and we will start the second part of the carve and that is pretty much it definitely an awesome process Let's just change this out real quick. And that is it. We'll be back in a few minutes, guys. I wanted to show this bit of hair with the eighth inch bit going a little bit deeper. And again, I want to show you that there's no dust on the workpiece. Very, very, very minimal dust. If any, it's just little specks. So this thing is actually doing its job. It's working perfectly, it's very secure. Right now we're going back and forth, trying to get all the, the depth we need. We're going down a 10th of an inch. And you can see here, it's sucking up dust like crazy. There's very little dust on the workpiece from what a normal without dust boot would be completely ridiculous. So it's looking really good, guys. All right, so we're back. The carb is finished. I moved the boot out of the way. And this is what I'm left with, just a few remnants of some dust. 
more these are more like little chips but you can see on the on the actual carve itself there's no dust and here's the surface of the table I'll back out a little bit for you so that's it so overall I think this did an absolutely fantastic job very very happy with it very uh, very clean picks up all the mess and uh, I think it did a great job I, I'm really impressed so this gets two thumbs up from me highly recommend it I will put the link to where you can purchase this in the description below and that is it all right guys we're back here is my final thoughts on the Kent CNC dust shoe so first thing is the quality the build quality is absolutely out of control it's wonderful the build quality is so great look at the thickness of that again I said that earlier the thickness look how thick that is that is so nice so well built I love the shoe I love this part that it separates I love the mag oh, magnets I like that is this is all uh, I guess he glues this on there. This isn't coming off. I like the whole the little screw thing, how it tightens. The ease of getting it out of the box and putting it onto the machine is a few minutes. Whereas some of the other ones I've owned, I had to figure out how to assemble it. It would come with like arms and you have to like put these little spacers on and then you have to figure out how to put the little arms on. It was annoying. This literally took to mount in the video you saw it took a couple minutes and it was up and ready and i had a carb going in a matter of minutes that was and it was sucking up all the dust so i think this one is a little bit more money than others on the market yes but they always say in life you get what you pay for and i really believe with this you're getting a quality product a quality dust shoe that's going to leave you with no dust in your shop my wife drives me nuts because i'm always creating dust down here my machines, I have two of them, they run every day. We, cr we have orders every day, we're creating dust every day. I had to get the dust out of the basement. We ended up installing, you can't see it in the video, but I ended up installing an air filtration system as well to suck up some of the dust. This takes up 98% of the dust, that's what we need. So if you're looking for a, uh, a dust shoe that is well built, it's made for the DeWalt 611, he has other manufactured routers, that fit on his website pick check this out you will really really like it 100% uh, satisfied quality 100% quality and uh, I mean I know it's just a dust boot but listen it's a part of our workshop it's a part of the environment that we're dealing with CNC machines you got to have dust collection and I think this is a very very good dust boot and I highly recommend it so I give it two thumbs up I really really appreciate you guys watching this video if you like it, subscribe. I'm sure I'll be doing reviewing of some more other things that I have in the shop. Uh, so just, you know, I don't have a lot of videos up yet, but hey, check it out. You never know what I might post. And uh, again, Kent CNC, his dust shoe, awesome. Check it out. You'll love it. That's all I got. Guys, again, my name is Dan Clemente, and do yourselves a favor. Keep on CNCing. Later, guys.